To access the report module, either click on the report tile on the home page or click the module drop down and select reports. The reports module allow PRISM users to manually generate their own reports on demand and export them to their desired format. All PRISM reports can be set to a defined schedule, although this will not be covered in this video. To generate a report, simply click on the report category on the left hand pane that you would like to generate from and then finally select the report underneath the category that you would like to run. When you click on the report, on the right hand pane a parameters page will appear. The parameters pane will change depending on which report you have selected. We will cover a selection but please note there may be some additional parameters not covered. Please refer to the report manual on that specific report for further information. Note, on all parameters, if you do not select anything within the parameter, it will default to all. For example, if you do not change the call direction, it will assume all call directions. To generate a report, you must first of all select a date range. These can be defined either by selecting the from and to dates by clicking in the calendar and selecting your dates by defining the from and to dates. You can also select the time by clicking on the clock and selecting your from and to times. Or you can click on the date parameter button which are a set of predefined dates. For example, if you'd like to run a report for this week, click on this option. To include or exclude specific days from your time period, for example, if you would like the report only to contain Saturdays and Sundays throughout your date period, select Saturday and Sunday. The next option is time zone. So in preference to which time zone you would like the report to be generated on, by default it will be your own time zone. If you do wish to change this, simply click on the drop down list and select the time zone you wish your report to be run in reference to. Time is included will allow you to choose times either between or not between a specific time frame. For example, if you would like a report for your calls between 9 and 5.30, select the time from is 9 and time to as 5.30. If you would like this time then to be excluded from your report, select not between. Then these times selections will not be included in your report. Next is CDR source. This will allow you to choose which CDR source you would like to generate your report against. You can choose multiple CDR sources if required. Directory items. The directory selector has two variations on the PRISM reports. If you have selected a departmental star report, it will vary to other PRISM report directory selectors, as you would have to specify the reporting levels. Otherwise, these options will not appear. So first, choose your tree in the top left hand corner. You can change your tree by simply clicking in the drop down list and specify the tree you'd wish to generate the report against. Once you have specified your tree, then simply click on the tree tab underneath. If you wish to search for items, simply click in the box and type in the information you wish to search for and click on the magnifying glass to search. It will then return all matching values. Use the up and down buttons to switch between each matched item. To select the item, simply check the box. If you wish to have more than one item selected within your report, you can check multiple items and the item selected will appear in the right hand pane. If you wish to select everything on your tree, simply click the box at the top of your tree and that will select every item. To remove items from your search on the right hand pane, there is a dustbin. Click on the dustbin to remove that level from your report parameter. If you have selected a departmental report, you then need to specify which level you wish to appear in the report. For example, if you would like level 1 to appear on the report, only select level 1. If you would like additional levels, for example 3 and 4, click level 3 and 4. You can also search on endpoints. To do this, simply click on the endpoint tab. Then click on the filter in the column for endpoints. Filter the column, 
Then, check the box on the left for all items you wish to appear in the report. Top X option is not available on every parameter, but allows you to select how many items you would like to appear in your report. For example, in the call information report, you may want to select 10,000 items. This is especially useful for the usage reports, where you may only want the top 50. Call directions allow for including or excluding specific call directions within your report. Call outcome and initiating and terminating reasons allow you to select any call outcome or reasons that you wish to include or exclude from your report. Use charge party. If you are billing, you may wish to use the charge party field rather than calling digits. This will then assign costs to the charge party. For example, if you forward your endpoint to your mobile and an internal user calls you, then this will create a PSTN call and you should pay for it rather than the colleague who just rang your internal endpoint. Sort by. Defining which column you wish to sort upon, for example, cost. Once you have specified all your parameters, you then need to click on the generate button to create the report. Note, depending on the size and length of the report, this could take a few minutes to generate. You then have a report bar appear at the top. You will have a next and previous page and first and last page arrow, followed by an export option where you can save your report in the required format or you can print to your required printer. Finally, if required, you can zoom in and out. Thank you for watching. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and if there is anything else you would like to learn about Tiger Prism and its other modules, please visit www.tigercoms.com for more tutorials and information.